there's a number of tools that every coach needs to lead a successful practice. And when you're just beginning, you can start with the basics. Well, the basic essentials for any coach, whether they're coaching kind of a U5 age group or U21, is you want to have obviously cones because you need to outline your fields with your markers to provide defined spaces where players can play the different drills. Uh, obviously balls you need in order to run a session is kind of essential, as well as a ball bag because it's impossible to carry more than uh, one or two balls at a time without a bag to do it in. Uh, one thing that coaches often overlook is a coaching board because a lot of times when you're trying to explain drills to players, it's very hard to do so without something to visually show them on. We all learn better with a visual aid. Another thing you need obviously is a ball pump to keep the balls inflated because it's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing worse than playing with a deflated ball. Probably the last thing I would put on that list of definite requirements is a scrimmage vest or some sort of pinny that you can define teams within within the larger team. So you can pit a group of blues against a group of yellows and, and so on. And once your players have graduated onto higher levels, you can start incorporating more equipment to focus on agility. After your basic coaching package, as you get into higher competition or the kids develop a little more, the next thing would be introduce a lot of agility training into sessions. So things like that, you'd use an agility ladder or agility poles or some sort of circuit where the kids can focus on quick feet and being able to react quickly to different bounces or spaces within the game. And that's where agility training comes in and plays a large role in the game of soccer. And it's more beneficial than running endlessly for 20 or 30 minutes at a, at a session. And there's thousands of different exercises you can do on it. Similar drills can be mimicked using just cones, but as the kids get older and they kind of outgrow uh, the small cones and a ladder, especially for a competitive team, is definitely something a coach should look at. I would say you could probably achieve 75% of what you need a team to do with just the basic cones, ladders, and jelly poles. For the province.com, I'm Larissa Kahoot.